Trust me, you're gonna love this. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong diving in caves? You know, Al Alistair got, got roped into this, and the first thing Andrew did was stick a scuba tank on his back and take him diving in a cave so he could experience it for himself. We figured if he didn't freak out, he might be the right guy to do this film. Hmm. Did you freak out? Absolutely. On the inside. But, I, yeah, but we didn't know about it. I kept it, it together. I, I, I survived. Well, I was very fortunate. I was surrounded by very experienced divers, so they kind of, you know, held my hand through the experience. But it was a great way to learn a lot about that world and the feelings that you have in those environments, you know. So we ended up having to train all of our actors to dive and use very technical diving equipment. And effectively, we built a, a cave and flooded it. So effectively, the, the actors had to become cave divers as well. And every day that they went to work, they were in these, you know, very enclosed environments and dealing with those problems. Storm is turned into a cyclone! Guys, the cave is flooded! you think? The most de defining one was being caught in a cave collapse. And for 15 of us, or, you know, took two days to get everyone out. And so it was in the course of those events that, you know, you kind of realise, wow, the, as profound as that was, it's, it's the human drama of it that's really interesting. And so that was the jumping off point to then start creating a fictional story, you know, grabbing on lots more real experiences and then putting that into a story that then, the, you know, an audience could come and enjoy and, and, and somehow vicariously be part of that survival drama.